but it's so busy here, isn't it? There's so oh, many people here. Fantastic. Fantastic. I've got to say, you arrived Very here in, well. in the 18 van. I mean, what a way to turn up. I know. I'm, I don't know if you've seen the inside of the van, but it's, it's much more comfortable than the original van. <laughs> My nieces and nephews, it was a religion to them every Saturday, 6.30, watching this. And I watched it. I admired it very, very much. And your character, let's not forget George Pepper played him in uh, the original series. So wonderful. Tough yeah. shoes to fill. Yeah, big shoes. So we kind of, we, we pay a homage to all of them. We tip our hat to certain elements in the show that we feel certainly the fans need to see these things. Chomping a cigar and stuff, you know. But after that, we, we made our own movie, you know. Hopefully entertaining. And... Well, Murdoch was, I, he was my favourite. A lot of people like yeah. the face, but I thought Murdoch, he was crazy. You needed to do crazy well and you, you successfully pulled that off. Murdoch and B.A. were actually my two favourites. I love that sort of chemistry between the two of them, you know, kind of love-hate thing that they have. And I think uh, that's what R Rampage and I really wanted to get that because we were both really big fans of the show. We wanted to get that, that same kind of energy. So I hope we did. I, I think so. How difficult is that, I guess, is the whole playing with fire, as people always put it? You've got these characters, yeah. seminal part of people's childhood, my childhood, and there you yeah. are trying to be them again. Is it difficult? Well, for me, I, I just, I, you know, I haven't been acting for a long time. For me, it's a very instinctive thing. I kind of feel, I work from a feeling, if that makes sense. So. I just really, this character always resonated with me my whole life. I've grown up messing around, doing voices, doing crazy stuff, and I felt I could do it justice. It was one of my favorite characters, and I think that's really what I just wanted to focus on, is maybe do a character that I would enjoy watching um, as, a, as a fan of the show. And obviously, you can't necessarily please everybody, but I'm, I, I'm happy with the way it came out. Dwight Schultz was really happy with it, which meant a lot to me as a fan. Now, how ch ch challenging, not troublesome, how challenging was it for, the, for all of you, really, not trying to replicate exactly what happened in the 80s but more make it your own really put your own stamp on it. Uh, the director was so so good and so talented that we just had fun the whole thing was we had fun the whole time and, and we end up making a great movie and from the point of view of having a laugh on set i'd imagine it looked like the sort of film where you do have quite a lot of fun well we had laughs all the time too much fun. oh too much fun man chateau like big kids like we the whole six months we was ba and murdoch <laughs> I called him Murdoch, he called me B.A. the whole time. He was just big kids. This is what I played at as a kid. You were yeah. basically living out my childhood fantasy. I, mean, I did my childhood fantasy, man. B.A. Baracus. Nicely put. And, and have you met Mr. T? Has he given you any proof? I never met him. Yeah. I'm kind of upset with you, Mr. T. Yeah? You, you, you heard many times that I'm a big fan of yours. You know the director's number. He set you down and showed you the movie. <laughs> you know how to get in touch with me. There you go. We, we know Mr. T. We'll get him. You know? You know? Mr. T's a big fan of Sky News. He'll, he'll call. We'll see. Call him. We'll see.